The question says in xenon oxide and xenon fluoride, hexafluoride is given there. The oxidation number of xenon in both the compounds we have to calculate the oxidation number of xenon. And now xenon is a noble gas element, and some students may think like uh, noble gas elements are uh, inert gas; they do not react. But they react with oxygen and fluorine because these are the highly electronegative elements are there. So about uh, the reactivity of xenons, you will study in noble gases. Class 12 chapter is there. Noble gases. Okay, let's calculate the oxidation number. We have uh, xenon oxide. Xenon and O3 is there. It is a neutral compound. Okay, in neutral compound total oxidation number of all the atoms in a given compound is always equal to zero. Equal to zero. Xenon is there. How many oxygen? Three oxygen. Each oxygen is what? Minus two. Simplify. Xenon. Sorry, it is supposed to be xenon. So I can mention it is what? Xenon. X is there. Okay, we have X is there. Okay. Xenon minus six is equal to zero. Then we get xenon is equal to plus six is there. Okay. Xenon is present in plus six oxidation numbers. Second compound we have XeF6 is there. XeF6 it is also neutral compound is equal to zero. Xenon and how many fl uh, fluorine are there? Six fluoride and how many six are there? Each fluorine is what minus one. Highly electronegative elements. Xenon minus six is equal to zero. Then xenon is equal to we got plus six. You can see in both the compounds xenon is present only in plus six oxidation number. Option C is correct.